Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. In this video, I'll be showing you 10 iPad apps that are fantastic for going back to school if you are a student. And if you're not a student and you're not going back to school, these apps I'll be showing you in this video are also good for overall productivity as well. So a quick pro tip before we jump into these applications, if you don't yet have an iPad and you're going back to school, now is a fantastic time to do so as if you go to Apple's education website, as you can see here, you can now get a gift card when you buy an iPad or a Mac. So on top of getting the normal student discount, you're also going to get a gift card of up to $150 to use on whatever you want inside the Apple store. So whether you're using an existing iPad or if you just bought a brand new iPad, all of these applications are going to be fantastic for going back to school. So let's go ahead and jump in right now and get into it. So the first application is called Notability, and this is my go-to application when it comes to taking notes inside my lectures. So if I open it up here, as you can see, the UI is pretty simple. You can have all of your subjects on the left-hand side color-coded. You can have as many of these as you want, and you can also have subfolders inside of each subject. One of the features I like of Notability is you have the option for so many different templates for the page. So if I click on Settings, and hit edit default template. As you can see, we have so many different options for our page layout, and we even have different planning sheets if you are a coach of a sports team, which is pretty cool. So I choose this one, which is called the college rule, as it looks most like a normal line piece of paper. And then if I create a new document, as you can see here, it looks just like a normal piece of paper, and it also works with the Apple Pencil as you would expect. Another feature I like on Notability is the option to record your lectures. So as you can see, there is a microphone button at the top right, and you can record everything happening in your lecture. And what is really cool is when you go to play back the audio of your lecture, it's also going to highlight which notes you were taking at the time that audio recording was made. So this is really useful if you make a very quick note and you don't really know what your professor was talking about at the time, you can go back and click on the microphone icon and you can go to that exact point where you made that little note and you can hear what your professor was talking about so you know exactly what you meant when you put your little chicken scratch on the paper. So Notability is my go-to application for taking notes. It's a very simple application but it is very powerful as well. So coming in next at number two, it doesn't get any more basic than this. This is simply a calculator application for the iPad. I'll have this linked in the description down below just because there are so many of these applications on the App Store, but this is the one that I choose to use. It's a very simple, clean UI. As you can see, when you open it up, there are no ads. It's just a black screen with a calculator on the right uh, for you to use easily with one hand. It also works in slide over. So if you are doing something else, like in Safari, for example, uh, the calculator is just one swipe away, as you can see here. So uh, every college student needs access to a calculator, and this is the one that I choose. So coming in next at number three, this is a to-do list application. So this is called Tick Tick. So in my opinion, every single college student needs an application like this because as you may know, when you're going to university or college, you're going to have a lot on your plate every single day. So I'd highly recommend having an application like this to check off all of your tasks for a certain day. So if I open it up here, as you can see, it's a pretty simple app. When you have completed a task, all you have to do is tap it to check it off just like that. If you wanna add a new task, the button is on the bottom right. So if I wanna to remember to go to the gym, I just type in gym. And if I wanna assign a certain time to it, I can use natural language in the creation of the task as well. So if I type in at 5 p.m., it'll highlight it in blue, as you can see there. I can hit send, and then at 5 p.m., it'll remind me to go to the gym. So TickTick -tick is a fantastic app for getting stuff done. This is my go-to to-do list application. So coming in next at number four, this one is really important for everybody's mental health. This is called Headspace Mindful Meditation. So especially as a college student, you can have a lot on your plate at one time and sometimes you can feel a little bit overwhelmed because you have so much to do. And that's where Headspace comes in. I find this really helps if you just spend five to 10 minutes a day and you take a few minutes to meditate and just breathe. I feel like this can really calm you down, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. So as you can see here, it walks you through your day, some stuff you have to do, and you can also explore various classes inside the application. And one that stands out to me is Back to School Essentials. So they're gonna play calming music and they're gonna take you through different breathing exercises to hopefully calm you down in the moment. I find that I am way more mindful when I meditate every single day, so I definitely would recommend checking out Headspace. 
So coming in next at number five, if you just finished meditating and now you're ready to ace that final exam, this is where Quizlet comes in. So Quizlet is a flashcards studying application. And personally, I have used this in the past and it helped me do really well on a final exam I had to write for one of my marketing classes. So if I open it up here, as you can see, it's a pretty simple app. I have prepared something kind of fun for this video. So what was the first iPhone with 3D touch? Obviously that was the iPhone 6S. And what was the first iPhone to remove the headphone jack? Obviously that was the iPhone 7. So you can have as many subjects and as many flashcards as you want inside of Quizlet. And it is a very useful application for studying a whole bunch of various terms. So the next two applications I'm gonna show you have to do with creating and editing documents. So the first one is Google Docs. So I only use Docs when I have to work on collaboration. So if I'm ever in a group setting and we all have to be working on the exact same document, uh, chances are most members of the group are gonna wanna work in the Google ecosystem. So definitely make sure to have Google Docs installed on your iPad as this is usually the first choice for anyone uh, who is working on collaborating on the same document. However, whenever I choose to hand in a solo project that isn't uh, for the entire group, I'm usually working inside of Microsoft Word. And that is because of the UI, I'm just very familiar with it, and also all of the templates. So I've sometimes uh, needed to hand in a project and I wanted it to look really clean and professional. And as you can see, all of the templates they have built into Microsoft Word here are very useful, especially for a college student. So if you are collaborating with a whole bunch of people, I would recommend using Google Docs. But if you are working on a solo project, I feel Microsoft Word is the best choice for that. So the next application is called Slack. Now you have probably heard of Slack. This is a business communication application. So we were just talking about collaboration. So if you are working in a group setting and you wanna have a group chat, uh, my choice is Slack. So some college students may choose to use WhatsApp or Snapchat or iMessage, but if you want a more professional setting for your business communications and your group chat, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out Slack. I can't open the application to show you on my iPad uh, just because I have some personal stuff in there that I can't share with you. But Slack is a very easy to use, clean, simple application if you wanna collaborate with members of a team. So coming in at our second last application, this one is again related to mental health as the meditation app was before, but this is called Five Minute Journal. So a lot of people find it's easier for them throughout the day if they're able to get their thoughts uh, out onto something, and that's where Five Minute Journal comes in. So if I open it up here, as you can see, we have a quote every single day. And if you click on edit, you're able to fill in various things, like three things I'm grateful for today, uh, why will you make today great, uh, daily affirmations, things like that. So I really haven't been into journaling, but after using this application for a bit, I think I might try it out. So if you wanna be a little bit more mindful and get your thoughts out onto your iPad, I definitely would recommend trying out Five Minute Journal. So the final app I'm gonna show you, this one is very important for me. As a busy college student, sometimes you don't have time to get to the gym. So this is where seven minute workout comes in. I find it really easy to do a quick workout at home instead of go all the way to the gym, especially when I'm busy with homework and other stuff like that. So I like seven minute workout because you're able to choose any part of the body that you wanna work out and it'll give you a custom workout for that body part. You're able to choose your time. So if you only have up to seven minutes, you can choose a really short workout and you can also choose a longer workout of 15 minutes or longer. You can also create a custom workout, which is nice. So as you go throughout your journey of using the application and you learn all the various movements, eventually you can pick some movements and exercises that you like and you can create a complete custom workout from scratch. So if you are heavily into health and fitness or if you're just getting started in your health and fitness journey, seven minute workout is definitely a good way to get in shape. So that's gonna do it for the applications. Hopefully you found something new that can help you out going back to school. If I missed any applications or if you have any suggestions for the audience, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Also stay tuned to our channel as we are gonna have another video on iPad accessories for going back to school. So turn on notifications for our channel as you won't wanna miss that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.